Okay, guys, every now and again, um, you know, using certain things like, uh, you know, these things right here that can go inside, uh, you know, uh, sorry, I got the wrong one. Uh, this thing right here that could go inside the extruder and all that. Sometimes it could unclog but on the hick top very easily through the nozzle right here. But sometimes you're going to have this huge ass clog and a big clog that won't permit this on. Now you're going to hear this going boom, boom, boom. That means that it cannot push, as you can see right here, it cannot push at all any type of filament uh, inside here, okay? So what happens is when I pulled out the other time, I pulled out the, the filament, a piece of it must have cracked off or something happened uh, because there, there was already a clog and I wanted to remove the filament out. So a piece of it clogged. Now, sometimes this could happen to many reasons. Maybe it shut off. Maybe a bunch of things you shut it off really quick or whatever. And it gets cold too fast. So what happens is it actually turns into a glob and you need to actually get right inside this straw right here. Now from here you can move the straw very easily, but it's so hard to remove it here. That's what you think, right? Well, that's exactly what you need to do. When nothing, when all else fails, it came with one of these, right? So you use this and you slowly, now you, you wanna make sure you don't cut these wires. So be very, very careful when you do this. Just loosen it up a little bit with this and then go to town with some needle nose pliers okay so you're like you see look at this see that so you just do it slow take your sweet ass time you want to unplug this now you want to do this ideally when it's on now really to be honest you could also do it when it's off if you're a little bit terrified and then what you do is you actually set the heating to um uh, ABS even though this is PLA or even if you have ABS and they're doing an ABS heating keep the heat up as much as you can because you want this shit to melt like crazy and then you're gonna push it down I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about give me one second y'all okay guys so you see what happens is you take your sweet ass time this thing actually goes directly to the heat module right here into the extruder Okay, then you get a light little tug you give. You see already, look at all the residue and all the crap that's on here. And you look and see what's going on on the inside here. You see, so you could see there's already kind of obstruction. But there's definitely obstruction going on in here. And this little shithole right here. Now you remember, you got to go really, really careful. Let's see if I can, oh, you see that? You could see. There's already, you can't see through it there's a hole you need to actually make something go uh, a hole go through it so this was the problem now you got to tug a little bit this one is like my god look at this there's like a hole in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna clip this and put that inside because this is not good there's a hole and this is what's probably causing it problems because probably a piece of it or something gets caught up in here and that's the major issue right here. And that's not a good thing. Look at that. There's actually holes in here. So this is what you got to look for, guys. So there's definitely a clog in here. And we're going to push it down with a very thin uh, Allen key uh, that came with it, too. Most likely this one. I'm going to push down. Okay, let's see what we're going to get here. Okay, so let's see what we got. See, now it's coming down. You saw that? Now it's all coming down. Let me just smooth it up for you. So you saw this one right here. Ow, damn, I just burned myself. Look at this. Look at all that gunk that's on it. Okay, we're going to push again. Okay, let's just see if anything's there. There, see? Oops, here we go. It's coming. So we have an issue right here. So we're going to do that. Give me one second. Now, guys, now you could get this. This thing came with it, too, but look how messed up it is. I'm going to need to buy another one. You stick it in here. Just make sure that it comes out the other side. See, we have an issue here. Give me one second. So, guys, you see I stuck it in from the bottom, and it's coming out from the top. That means, see this right here? This means it's perfect now, okay? But you could see like little strands here. So we need to do a lot of work here because this thing right here was probably causing a lot of issues. Okay, so now uh, that I could see this, 
This is something. Let me try to get it in focus. Damn. Uh, give me one second. Light. It's actually better on the focus here. So we're going to cut that out and see what I could do. And then uh, we're going to be ready to... Wow. This is one hell. See this? It's going right in here. <laughs> so now it's perfect. The entire clock is cleaned. But I'm not satisfied. we got to cut that baby up. Give me one second. What happened was in the end, uh, I couldn't recover the straw because this thing actually melted. The filament melted in the straw and there was no way to get rid of it. It was completely melted inside. So the only way you could, uh, what you could do right now is to completely cut out the straw and then try to free this without fucking this up right here, the this stuff. So try to free it slowly, slowly by making incisions and cutting and removing. And then you're going to take out the straw. Make sure that you take this out fully whole. Okay. Now this part over here obviously is going to go down. This one here, I need to remove the straw from this side. And we're just going to put in a new straw and we're going to, uh, a new guide and we're going to see what happens. Okay. But this is the, this is the clog guys. It's like the clog of clogs. It actually happened in the straw. How crazy is that? And inside the, uh, actual, uh, nozzle. So the, the, this is why it's so important to know how to do maintenance in 3d printing. If not, you shouldn't, uh, I'm not going to say you shouldn't get one, but you should get, uh, you should know, uh, I would say because this is still very in, in, in its infancy stage. I really think so. Uh, no matter how, you know, I built it, I, I made it, uh, you know, I upgraded parts. I did whatever I need to do. No matter what, it's still in an infancy stage. So you guys need to figure out, you know, if, if you guys want a 3D printer, I always say you have to know how to do the maintenance. So this is why I'm going to be releasing these videos so anybody could do it. And you don't have to always get it serviced and pay a shit ton of money. So be sure to check my back episodes to show you easy ways to unclog when it's like, normal but in this case this was really really messed up the straw was fucked up because it had filament that was actually melted in there which is insane it probably had particles and stuff it was the one that was on the inside so it was actually heated up and it wouldn't come out no matter how much i heated it up and everything it just wouldn't do it so i just got pissed and removed it and i'm going to be putting in because they included it a brand new one, okay? Now, when you when you put in a brand new one, make sure it's always circular. It was Mine was kind of smashed up, so I had to use needle nose pliers and kind of flatten them a little bit to make them nice and round. And uh, then we're going to, you know, do this. So give me one second. So as you can see, everything is good. Put the, the brand new um, uh, straw guide right in there. Threw the other one out, uh, you know, after chopping it up to pieces, it was actually up to here. For some reason, that entire thing was melted and it was holding all the way up to here, which I don't even know how the hell that happened. It doesn't make any sense, but somehow it happened. Uh, and um, you're going to see that I took this out. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is probably get some electric tape and just do it again on each of them just to uh, you know, make sure that it's on it the right way and all that. But as you can see, I just tightened it back up again. I did a little clean job on the inside. So remember, when you open this up, when you take this one out, you want to clean as much as possible on the inside too. Even if it is in here, which it was, it was also a little bit on the uh in the extruder as well okay so what you want to do is you want to take also uh one of these light ones and shove it in there but also what you could do you see like i took already look at that the inside but what you could do is take actual filament now if you don't do it correctly you might really fuck it up so i don't like really telling people to do this <clears throat> but i prefer you guys get one of these and you'll you'll do fine you know these uh little wires or whatever copper wire or whatever but um, what you could do is with the filament, go a little in and exactly when it's about, when you feel it like about like, that it's melting, pull it back up. Okay, you're going to see that a lot of gunk comes out with that because it's on the surrounding part of the extruder. Now, I did get myself a, uh, 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 sorry, of the nozzle. Uh, so that, now I did get myself a stainless steel nozzle because I want to try to see uh, if this baby can do carbon fiber in a better way like my other printer when I built it, the, the other one that I did. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to try afterwards some probably carbon fiber filament and I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know how the heck that turns out. But so far, I mean, 
everything is working just fine. What you want to do is also, you want to give it a dry run. So I'm not telling you to do a benchy because I think a benchy also wastes filament. So I wouldn't want you guys to do that. But what you do is try to extrude it using that and see how much falls out. If a lot falls out, then it's good. If it's still, you feel it resisting, then you didn't clean this out right. Because you know this is brand new anyway. So you see, this is the extreme case, an extreme case of a clog. So sometimes you could just get away with doing this, up the nozzle here, and that's it. You're good to go. You free it up. It goes all the way in. If it goes all the way in, that means you freed it, and that's it. It's very simple. But sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, know-how and where you have to take this out. Okay? You don't always have to take out the nozzle unless it, the nozzle is fucked up all on its own. I never needed to take the nozzle out no matter how bad it was. Even when my friends had, uh, you know, floods and stuff like that, uh, you know, where it overflowed and then, it, you know, it turned into shit. Uh, I had to uh, just basically do what I did here, but it wasn't in the straw. I just took that out and just pushed it out and did that thing with the filament that I was showing you the trick. And it was uh, that I was telling you about. And that's it. It's it's done. Uh, but uh, I never had to take the, the nozzle out. I am going to do it, though, now. Uh, later, not now because I don't need to, but uh, when I get the um, stainless steel um, nozzles because I want to put it like I did in my other one and that one does everything and it does also carbon carbon fiber, which is fucking amazing. So I want to do it on, the, on, on this printer as well. So that's all I got to say about that. So it's a very simple fix here. The only thing I'm having an issue with all the time is this part here. To attach this inside is very tricky. Like I have to smash it, smash it, smash it a million times. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, but And then eventually it works and I have no issue. So, so that's pretty much how that works out. But it's just a little bit weird. I don't know why it does that, but I have no idea. But anyway, it works. But that's the extreme. So when you have an extreme one, that's how you do it. I should wipe this out. I'm going to do a clean job on this thing right now. Uh, probably take it apart and rebuild it. But... um. That's pretty much it, guys. You always need to do great maintenance every time after a print. I would say after you do three prints. Now, with me, I did Iron Man helmets. And, I, and in order to get the recipe right, I fucked up a lot. So we're talking about months of nonstop printing. Okay? No, uh, you know, I did also the Ark of the Covenant and all that stuff. But I didn't make the machine rest. I didn't, uh, you know, give it time. Yeah, I shut it off sometimes and then I'd go right into it. I didn't do any maintenance. And when you do that, you're kind of fucking yourself up. Now I bought two more of these. They're like $7.99 and you could get them from the United States, which I recommend you do. Because the one in China is crap. Like I said, they don't really care about uh, quality control. They just release shit. And uh, their actual, their material is not the same as they claim it is. Whatever they call this TPK, I don't know what they call it, but it's not good and the filament always gets stuck. And I had it, it came with my uh, other printer that I built. So I ordered it and I had no idea it was uh, this seller did a made in China crap. So it sucked. So always make sure it's, it's made in the USA. You know you're getting quality and if it sucks, you could return it and not have to wait. Because they sent me another one and it took a month. And guess what, guys? It sucked. The same thing. So this, you don't have to wait months. It comes right away and you'll get a good one. And I never had issues with it. So I ordered two more just in case this shit ever happens to me again. But uh, I'm just, I, I learned my lesson, you know. So every time uh, after I do a massive amount of prints, we're talking months. But let's say I, I do an Iron Man helmet that takes me about, let's say, seven days uh, to print out the, ways, uh, the way I do it, at least. Uh, then what I'm going to do is, I'm get, right after that, I'm going to give it a nice little clean in the you know using this up the nozzle and just just to make sure even though it's even if it's not clogged just to clear it up just to make sure everything is good now the other thing is you don't want to shut this off right after you're done don't shut it off right away let it slowly cool down because if you're going to shut it off it's going to clog uh the nozzle also be sure not to pull this out unless it is absolutely hot okay like if you put it on uh uh, even PLA, I don't like it when I do it on PLA uh, because it's still kind of cool. It's on 201. Uh, you want to make it go to ABS, okay? Now, if you're using ABS, just stick to the ABS, but always go to the top temperature when you're taking this crap out. I made a mistake many times doing that, and I fucked it up, so I'm just letting you guys know. So that's all I got to say about that. Let me know if this thing actually helped you out. I, I, this is an extreme case. I doubt this is going to always happen. Uh, this is something that happens once in a blue, but if you see that no matter what you're doing, that this thing isn't going even up, okay? Or when you pulled it out, 
it, it, it didn't pull out. It was it got a real tough hold on it, and you plucked it out. Most likely, something happened here. It's a little bit stuck here. You want to remove it? You could just remove it and take it out from there. But uh, if it's melted, all you got to do is you know change this, or if you want to change uh, this screw here, which they gave me one, uh, or this screw here, you could always change it. Yeah, you know that's how easy it is. You just take it out and. You know, that's about it. I am going to need to do, um, of course, uh, this one, which is electric tape will take care of that, or band uh, bandage tape, which this is what it looks like to me. <laughs> it's actually bandage tape. Yeah, so I'm going to use that. And uh, that's it. That's all it really takes, and you're good to go. And remember, when you take it out, loosen it up, loosen it up with this, then slowly do it with this. You don't want to fuck up these wires. These wires are very, very fucking delicate. I mean, some of them are braided, but those two right there are very delicate. And if you fuck it up, this entire fucking unit, you're going to have to get all the way with the wire here. Now, they're pretty cheap. They don't cost that much, luckily. But, you know, why have to spend it and wait till, you know... It comes and it just fucks up your whole thing. I am going to probably purchase down the line another one of this uh, when it gets really, really dirty. As you can see, there's a little red marks here because I was doing painting here. Now I took the painting outside. I'm not doing it indoors anymore. I don't want it to catch on here uh, because for some reason it dragged on even though it wasn't on. It just came right on. It was in the air. It's not good. So, you know, so I'll probably get another one and see how that works out. But very easy, guys. And also, if you guys are a little bit scared, you could just... Take these screws out, and then it'll be easier to, uh, you know, with the wrench to go about it. But it, uh, fairly extremely easy to do. Took me about seven, eight minutes to do it, and that's about it. I'm going to do some clean jobs over here, you know, clean it up. Always maintain. And those of you that didn't get a 3D printer, guys, you got to know, you're going to be doing a lot of things like this, a lot of maintenance. Because it's still in an infancy stage, but damn, you could get the best shit ever. Okay, I mean, I got my Iron Man helmets here. I mean, look, my entire room looks like a freaking uh, uh, warehouse. I got to actually clean this baby up. I'm going to make a massive room here so I could do my uh, five-foot 3D printer over here. Maybe I think it's going to be about five or six feet. And uh, I'm going to see what I could do and, you know, take most of this crap to storage. But I got a lot, a lot of... Uh, crap here so that's all i got to say about that very easy maintenance let me know uh if this helped you out uh you know i have other videos definitely check uh back from unboxings but also how to unclog it the easy way i'll see if i uh, you know what i'm going to put that in the description i'm also going to show you uh other printers how i uh repaired them but that's how easy it is so every time instead of you guys uh shelling out so much cash to um so, you know, instead of you guys shelling out hard, you, you know, your hard-earned cash on getting it serviced, you could do it really yourself. It's really simple. Just be careful with this, okay? That's really all that you need to worry about is just this. If you need to take this out, take it out. And just be careful with this. And even when you take it out, be very gentle because it's hooked up to this. So, okay, so you got to be really, really gentle and then do your work on this. But make fucking sure that you don't fuck up your wires. Otherwise, you need to buy an entire, you know, unit. It's not that expensive, but just letting you guys know, have to sound like a broken record here, but I came pretty close, and I don't want any of you guys to suffer from it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Many more to come. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.